Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome to another episode of Coolcraft Season 5. In the last episode, we did the annual Super Bowl prank, and of course worked on the big old transport project more. However, in this episode, we are going to, well, first let's do a little bit of an update on uh, how the transport project's been going. Why, hello there. You join me for what is the first test of this railway. Sending minecarts through on the through unplayer loaded chunks, mostly to make sure that all the portal chunk loading is working correctly, and I'm not completely screwed on this project, because that would be horrible. That will display the position of this minecart on screen at all times, at least that it is loaded. So yeah. Oh, and it's raining. So. Oh. All right. We seem to have found an issue at screenshotting this. That's not a screenshot, that's a screenshot. Y or, or Z78. All right, so I found the defect and as for what was wrong is, um, well, I forgot to put in a redstone torch. Also, I found another defect right here. So good thing we're doing this. I additionally found another system wide so far defect in that, Let's see if any of these have it happen. Oh, right there. And apparently I just picks them up. Yeah. Um, this is a problem. <laughs> like, stuff is actually getting shot over. Um, so yeah. I have to raise all those walls a bit, which... Yeah, I, I know why that didn't come up in testing. But yeah, so... Um... Let's get back to, uh... Testing the system then, hopefully no more flaws. <laughs> you know, right as I finish saying sure that, it right literally stops again. No. All right, <laughs> finally made it to the end. There was a stop in the middle that I have no idea why it stopped, but we're gonna go test it on the way back eventually once I've fixed all these things being too short. So yeah. All right, after a long time and having to re- con or fix every single module because there was a critical issue that I didn't realize I had in all these that I had to fix so I had to go through everyone fixing them that took forever uh, I also had to at the <laughs> at the very end here I also had to reconfigure some of the ones I built there because they were completely incorrect However, now that that has been done, I am com this system completely works and theoretically I will never have to touch it again in the nether or in the overworld for that side unless I'm adding something new. So, that being said, now let's move on to the next thing that we're going to do in today's episode. Now, you may recall that in the first episode of this season, I said this. Alright, so I looked through all of episode 1, and I couldn't find this clip. I swear I s told people about this at some point, but I apparently didn't include it in the video, or didn't actually record it. So anyhow, what I was going to try to show here is that I said that for anyone that plays for over 10,000 minutes, I'll build a map art of their face. Basically, that's what it is. Well, I am now going to actually make good on that promise, and actually get building giant map arts, map, map arts one at a time, starting with, of course, me, the person who actually reached the milestone first. So, let's get into a time lapse of me building a gigantic map art of my face. Today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, which is talk to you during this time lapse. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that recently I've noticed that there's a video or a live stream VOD on my channel that has been getting more views than I feel like it should. In fact, it's been consistently getting about like 7 views per day, which is weird because literally nothing else on my channel is getting evergreen views like that. In fact, the, chan the this one video has over 1,300 views right now, which is absurd, and it just keeps increasing, and it's a live stream I did over a year ago on an old Wii game, so maybe that's why, and because I mean I know these live streams I did actually rank pretty high on the search results for this game on YouTube, but who the heck is searching for this game? Anyhow, the second thing I wanted to talk about is I was recently able to be hands-on with the server to do a bit of maintenance on specifically the hard drive we have there, which is hosting this thing called a Minecraft overview, which is a thing you can generate for your world, takes a lot of processing power, and uh, you can use a web browser to view it and stuff, so I've that set up for server members to look at. Um, 
but I was having issues where the overviews for the current season were somehow getting corrupted. There were files and folders that were that were inaccessible on the website or on the actual computer itself, and when I tried to physically access or delete any of these files, I got an, quote, I.O. error, which was very cryptic, and I was afraid that the disk was failing. But it was only, like, the, repl the overviews that actually yeah. seemed to be having problems. Everything else was fine. So... While I was hands on the server, I booted it into Windows, because it's currently running a Linux distro right now, and run the disk check utility on it. And it was able, after running it a couple times, it was able to fully recover everything, determine that the drive has no bad sectors or anything, and actually allowed me to delete stuff and get stuff rolling again, which was really good. It also means that Linux just kind of completely screwed up the file system for some of these files, which I don't even know how it was possible. Anyhow, giant... Face map art. Let's get back into real-time footage. It is done, and it maps as- well, it's exactly the same as it looked last season, because maps haven't changed in the last update. So yeah, um, that's done, and I will say, at the beginning of the season, when I was like, oh yeah, 10, anyone who gets 10,000 minutes will do this, I didn't realize we'd lit- mo me and Tyler would hit 10,000 minutes in the first week of the season- the first two or three weeks of the season. Um, but actually, if you recall a couple episodes ago, I talked about the AFK war competition that we had. I handily beat him in that over, like, Christmas break, because he was, uh, away for a while. So, haha, there's that. Anyhow, let's go start making a bunch of maps and posting them all around the server. Okay, so, I've gotten some item frames and I made some more maps. Okay, this is a lot more maps than I actually probably should, considering I only have 11 item frames. Yeah. So anyhow, let's go place this stuff around oh. Tyler's base now. See a dirty cool head up here, so let's just put uh, my face next to that. <laughs> next to Tyler's face. At this elevator shaft. And then at this train station, just to confuse people. Speaking of the train station, we can then take this to Jerry Cool's base. Of course, we'll put one next to the line that actually does go to my base. We can uh, sign the work from the last episode in the storage system in the storage system inside of the tree farm and of course outside of my base all right then so for the remainder of this episode i want to do a little bit of work here on my base now as it currently stands all that the base has here is kind of got the starter area here with the, the situation that i probably should have recorded but didn't when it happened with the lava and the smirky face uh, we of course have the villager breeder and setup, and then of course the shops, as well as where the um, transportation system will eventually link in whenever I get around to building that in the next month or so. So what I'm going to start to do here is I'm going to put in some paths that kind of connect everything with the shops, and then also try to connect the shops back to the base a little better here, because they're currently just kind of near each other and that's the only association they have, so yeah, gonna get doing a little bit of that. Also, while I'm here, I might as well go pick up some profit. Oh, I don't have any space in my inventory. Hold on. As I was saying, profits. Ooh. Hmm. Probably should restock these things. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if there's anything at the slime shop over here. Which also, I have to connect this with the path. Because this is also kind of farther away from everything else that is around here. Ooh. 50. 59. Ah, uh, 59 diamonds. Alright then, paths. Alright, I put the paths in. Now, what I need to do is actually make these bridges not look like they're just floating pathways. Also, uh, I don't know how it's gonna work with going under where the uh, transport system is. That's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. Bridges have been, uh, well, I guess, bridgeified by, uh, well... <laughs> I guess just putting a bunch of smooths around them, but then also supports and, you know, railings and stuff. So, you know, they now look better than just like a floating line of blocks in the air. So, the next thing I'm going to do is put in streetlights. That way I don't have to have these random torches in the middle of the paths. And some streetlights have been put in. Um, I don't know if the design is necessarily all that good, but, um, well, it's what I could think of at the time. So... Yeah, these are actually, you know, providing some light to near here, so there's less torches around, making this place look a bit better. But of course, yeah, we still have to have them, so yeah, uh, that's that. And that is the end of this episode, so I'm going to have to say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like 
and subscribe check out my game maybe i'll release something soon maybe i won't which is linked in the description and i will see you all in the next episode of google craft season five bye